Hey you guys, I'm back with another video and as you can see, uh, I guess the boyfriend put her out in the rain because she cheated on him with with his brother. Without further ado, let's just hop right into this y'all. All right, you guys, pretty much, man, he's kicking this girl out because he found out, you know, through his brother, you know, I guess his brother came clean and decided to tell him that, hey, your girlfriend is trifling. And uh, yeah, she cheated on me. I mean, um, she cheated <laughs> with me on you. Excuse me, y'all. But I mean, this is just unfortunate. Another good dude. And man. And ain't no telling he was probably at the gym or he was probably most likely at work majority of the time when this was happening. And it's just sad and unfortunate that another good dude, you know, that's only just trying to pay the bills, you know, do his girl right, you know, and just make sure she OK at the end of the day. And and this is typically what usually happens, man. You know, brother, um, boyfriend is at work. You know, she gets bored. Brother coming around. You know what I'm saying? But in this uh, sense, you know, maybe, you know, even though that is his brother, I feel like, you know, you gave a little bit too much trust to, uh, with your brother being around your girl when you ain't around or you being at work. I mean, I know that's your brother, but hey, man, at the same time, at the end of the day, he is a male just like you and you allowing your brother, which is another male, whole another male to be around a, a, a female, which is your girl. And you expect for nothing to not happen. You expect for, you know, nothing to go down. And, and, and it probably could have all started with conversation. You know, she probably ended up liking her brother's personality. And that's usually all it takes for a girl to, you know, be interested in a guy. If he got a good, you know, personality and can make a laugh and, and create that vibe. That's all it takes. But I feel like he put a little bit too much trust in his brother. You know, I know that's his brother. And, you know, at the end of the day, they grew up together. But still, your brother is a, a male like you and you allowing your brother to be around a female. And that female is, you know, your girl, you you know, you let you allowing him to be around your girl. And, and that's just a little bit. I mean, I know that's your brother, but dang, you you trusting your brother a little bit too much. And I'm like, at the end of the day, you also got to take into consideration that your brother ain't perfect and neither is your girlfriend. So, I mean, you know, come on, man. It's, it's like you got to have boundaries. You you need to sit your brother down and set boundaries like, hey, don't be going around my girl when I'm at work. Don't be around her while I'm not present. You know, you have to be I have to be present for you to be around her. You cannot be around her if I'm not there. And I think, you know. Because, I mean, a lot a lot of things can happen, you know, and, and you're not knowing what your brother's saying to her. Y'all not knowing you're not knowing what type of conversations that they have. And this is typically what happens when you allow your girlfriend to uh, you give your girlfriend a little bit too much trust. And then you end up giving your brother a little bit too much trust and, and, and you are allowing the opportunity. You are allowing that opportunity to, you know, um, happen. And I feel like, you know, he should have, you know, let his brother know that, hey, you cannot be present when I'm not there. And letting his girlfriend know that, hey, don't be calling my brother over neither or allowing him in the house when I'm not there. You know, it's just boundaries that need to be set. But at the end of the day, you know, he found out that, you know, she cheated on him. With with her brother and he's doing the right thing. He's he's uh, making her pay for it. He's he's dropping her off in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where, but he kicking her out. And hey, man, he's about to go ahead and move on with his life. 
And and that's what he need to do. You know, he's doing the right thing. I feel like he's doing the right thing, not taking her back because I feel like if he take her back, it's just going to get worse. You know what I'm saying? If she already cheating on you with, with your own brother, imagine your freaking father or your uncle or your cousin or somebody else in your family she might go after and or I might end up cheating on you with. So, yeah, it's good that he, you know, is, is just cutting it off right here and letting her go. You know, and I think that's the best for him, you know, just let her go and let her know that you ain't going to put up with no disrespect and, and move on, you know, and this is the best thing because this girl right here, she trifling, you know, and he needs to believe this female for what she is. She's a cheater. And once a cheater, always a cheater, man. Don't ever take a girl back if she cheat on you. Let her go. And this dude is doing just that. But this is just crazy and the female, on this other hand, she just disrespectful and trifling. And it don't make no sense, man, that another, you know, decent fella got to fall victim to a, a cheating female. But y'all hit me down in the comments. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time out to watch the videos. And for those that do come across the channel in the future, think about it, take it into consideration, then hit that sub and notification bell on all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.